Hey guys, so if you watched my Dollar General haul or shop with me the other day, you saw that I got these and in the store I was thinking these snowflakes were a little loose so I was just going to pull them off. Um, and just, they don't look that bad but there's just not, it's just not the look that I'm going for. Um, but whenever I pulled them off, you can see here, it leaves this glue on here. Um, it seems like it's hot glue, but the back end of this um, design is coming off on here. So it just leaves this. I'll actually show you this one right here. So I've done removed the um, thing from. So you can see that it has all these little fabric spots and glue spots. So I've come up with a couple different ways to get this off. Um, not without knowing what kind of glue it is exactly, you kind of have to guess. But what I found that's worked the best is I go ahead and, um, <clears throat> let me get some scissors here. Go ahead and take the tag off. And there is a cardboard thing in it. Make sure you take that out so that you have um, just your stocking. You're going to lay this on a cotton surface. Um, lay co a piece of cotton underneath it and then flip it over to where the glue is sitting down. And I'm going to actually take my iron, a hot iron, no steam. I'm going to lay it on the first section. For about 20 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting now. Okay, so then you're just gonna peel it, flip it right up, and then you're gonna take and just peel these right off. Okay, so this is mainly just gonna get this fabric off, but it does get quite a bit of the glue off as well. I don't think I really got those. So then we're just gonna go to the next section. They're a little hot, but it's not not even as hot as like hot glue is normally. Okay, so you probably can't tell in the video, but there is you can see a little bit of a glisten. You can kind of see the spots. I'm not a lot in it, bad in here because I'm in my kitchen, but it does leave some of that glue residue. So I tried rubbing it with a hot rag as soon as it while it was still hot, and it just didn't um, work for me. So um, I'm okay with it how it looks. Um, I don't plan to use these, but this year. Um, for a dollar, you really can't beat that. Um, once they're on my um, rack that I'm going to put them on, and I'm all finished with them, you're really not going to be able to see that. I think I'm actually going to get some stuff and hang on here. Um, if I can include it in this tutorial, I will. Um, I'm just not sure if I have all the stuff that I need here with me before I want to get this video out. But um, uh, I may end up just cutting this off. But here's another option. If you do want these and you don't want this glue residue at all. Um, and also you can, this is just one of the letters that I had, but you can do something like that with some string. Let me put this down here. Oh, there. Um, so you can do something like um, put some kind of letter there. Um, monogram or something there um, anything if you want to cover that area but let me show you this so if you take this and turn it inside out and if you look here it is the exact same fabric so what you could do and what I would do if I was going to plan to keep these like after I get my Christmas stuff up, if I really do like this buffalo check in my Christmas stuff, what I will probably do is take my seam ripper. So you just take any kind of seam ripper 
Turn it inside out. This is completely useless in these guys, so just cut it off. Even if you have it the same way, um, this is not, you can't hang your stock in um, from it. And I don't know what they were thinking when they put that in there, because it doesn't work. Anyway, so you would just pick this stitch all around, all around your stock in, and you would actually fold this down. So to properly um, do this, you would pick all of this first, and then you would come right here and fold it like inside out, but like fold it down. And then you're gonna find, you'll find the other stitch here. I'm like right in the light, guys. But you would find that stitch and pick that one. So that will remove the top and then this stitch would remove that. And then all you would do is sew them, um, flip both pieces the other way so that you can see this side instead of the side with the little marks on it. So this one has no glue on it whatsoever. Um, you can actually follow it. The, you'll have little holes um, where this is at. So you can just follow it and it should line right back up um, exactly the same. You could even just turn them out, turn them inside out just like this and um, just have like that rustic, rough edge kind of look. Um, I'm sure this would even fray if you kind of picked at it some. So you could have like the frayed look um, on the ed edges of this but for a dollar you really really can't beat this um, for you know this is a really pretty um, buffalo check print a lot of them are look um, really cheap but um, this one is not so what I think I'm going to do for right now is I'm gonna keep them this way and I actually am toying, once I get my little rack up that I'm going to put these on, um, I'm going to toy around with taking this white off and just leaving it plain. So I was going to sew some black on there, but um, I think I will be just as happy if it was just plain. I'm just not completely sure that I love the white. Um, even though this is a really pretty white, it's not like the cheap looking stuff from the Dollar Tree. It's nice and fluffy and plush um, fleece, but um, I am going to play around with that. And you can see how this pulls. I don't know, maybe y'all can get them to hang, but the way that I would hang it, um, it seemed like it wouldn't hang from that. I don't know. Um, when I tried to hang it on there. But, um, Anyway, I think I'm going to just try to cut this off and um, hang something, maybe their initial. Um, I have some wood letters that I used last year. Um, I had them the other day when I pulled my Christmas stuff out, but I, I've misplaced them in the time since last week. So I had them somewhere, but um, I thought those might look good. I don't know if I want that much wood. Um, on this or I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna look, but there's definitely options to fix in that to where you're not staring at this stuff so like maybe you like the stuff like I don't know. But um definitely ways to make this look like a fifteen twenty dollar stocking or very cheap um, if you want to go that route. So the reason why I don't want to go ahead and sew these the correct way and put the black or burlap on the top like I would, would like, um, and I may do that later on this Christmas season as I'm sitting, as I see everything up and I just have the time. <laughs> anyway guys, um, just play around with this and if you bought these stockings or if you bought some from the Dollar Tree and you like a certain part of them and maybe not the whole thing, just um, keep in mind that you can have those options. I am going to continue with my other two. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna end this video here. 
Um, I hope you liked it. If you want to see more Christmas DIY tutorials, whatever. Um, I don't get to film one more whole lot because I am a busy mama and turning on the camera and getting some peace and quiet time is um, rare around here. But if you don't mind screaming kiddos in the background, I may can get more done. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and um, Merry Christmas. I hope you have fun decorating your homes in the next couple weeks. I know a lot of us are going to be doing it. And um, have a great night. Bye.